Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Islam. 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 Happy Holy Day to the Muslims, Muslims, Moors, those who serve Allah, those who submit their will to Allah. Happy Holy Day. Today's a sacred day all over the world. Praises be to Allah, Allah alone. I mean, Allah is the Father of the universe. Allah is the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. <laughs> Don't you like that? Ain't that so truthful? <laughs> Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation. Isn't that so true, brothers and sisters? By night and by day. Yeah. That's why we got those signs and symbols that you see, the sun, moons, and stars. By night and by day. It's long. <laughs> Through his prophet. Through his prophet. And why do we say Noble Drew Ali at the end? And you hear some of our Sunni brothers say stuff for Allah. Because for us here in America, we didn't know nothing about a lot of that. That some of you in the Islamic societies in the world might know of. Okay? To us, we were hit over the head. Over here in North America, without knowledge of self, not knowing any of our languages, nothing about our culture, stripped, stripped of everything. So Noble Draw Lee had to come by Allah's permission to wake us up. Mentally, physically, spiritually, economically, socially, in every way, Noble Drew Ali had to work on us. He had to become a doctor to a nation of dead people. Why do I call us a nation of dead people? Because they call you black people today. Black according to, black according to science means death. Look it up. You had a black cat, they tell you to walk back, what, seven times? Yeah, look it up. So Noble Drawley come to take us out of all of that by Allah's permission. Okay? He was our guide, our spiritual guide that Allah sent to wake us up. And from there, he created other spiritual guides. He didn't make himself the all to be all. Noble Drawley, this is what he said, and I'm going to read it to you. In his first meeting that he had in Chicago, Illinois, okay? This is what he came up with, not me. The first annual national convention of the Moore Science Temple of America. And please forgive me, y'all, if I stumble over a word or so. Because this is very small print. But this is to keep me on my, my square, okay? The first annual national convention of the Moore Science Temple of America was held from October the 15th. Until the 20th, 1928 in Chicago, Illinois. They spoke about the work of Prophet Noble Drew Lee. He had speakers such as, I mean, real pol political head honchos around him. He had the Honorable Louis B. Anderson look these brothers up. See, I learned about these brothers. No one else ever taught me about these people and others. Besides those that's under the leadership of Brother E. Braswell Bay. You see, Brother Damu, uh, uh, Sheik Damu, Brother Roger Brunton Bay, when all of them were together, this was basic information that they used to share with us out of the Moorish Guide. Now, some Moors call this, in, I mean, adapt information, and they won't share it with you. But you can go to the Moorish Guide and get all this information, brothers and sisters, that I'm reading to you today. This is not a secret. Islam. So he says, Lewis, Honorable Lewis B. Anderson, 
Alderman, Second Ward, Chicago, Honorable Daniel M. Jackson, Second Ward Committee and Illinois Commerce Commissioner, Honorable Oscar DePriest, then a Republican Committee and, 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 and Co Congressional Committee uh, candidate, Honorable Robert R. Jackson, Alderman of Third Ward, Honorable George Blackwell. Check that out. State Representative, Illinois Legislative, Legislative Additional representing the private sector, Mr. Jesse Binga, uh, Bingi, of uh, that bank, the Bingi Bank. It was a state bank. Again, I, I didn't have any information on any of these people until the brother, under the staff of Brother E. Braswell Bay Swamp. And you'll find out that these people became successful. Many of them are successful uh, 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 Republicans and Jews. Okay. Uh, what else he shared with us? Representing the private sector. Also spoken on the industrious acts of Noble Draw Lee. The Moorish members from various states include New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, Michigan, Arkansas, Ohio, Wisconsin, West Virginia, and Illinois were all on hand to witness and participate in an event unlike any to which they had exposed or had been exposed. Convention activities include an outstanding parade through Chicago residential district with the temple officials dressed in a Moorish regalia, a musical concert featuring the Moorish choir, a grand celebration with entertainment for the sheiks and the guests, along with the decision and reporting and conducting business among the membership. They did all this in Unity Hall. Unity Hall is now a historical mark in Chicago, Illinois. All the Moors always go back and take pictures there. But let me share something with y'all. I do know this. They kicked the prophet out of Unity Hall. Why do we keep going back to take pictures in Unity Hall? They took and kicked Noble Drew Ali out of Unity Hall. All his furniture, all our literature, everything. So why do we respect Unity Hall so much? The Moors always tell me, I want to go to Unity Hall. You need to know that. There's other places, like address 1305 East Frederick Street. You can go to State Street. All these different areas, Noble Draw Lee was working all on that south side of Chicago. You better believe it. Prophet Noble Draw Lee, a member of member, a number of governors, excuse me, and grand sheiks came dressed in costumes representing the nations of the world. So that let you know if if they came representing nations of the world, most of those Moors probably were Sunnis, Sufis, Hebrewic. All, all different schools of thoughts in the Moore Science Temple of America. All different schools of thoughts inside of the Moore Science Temple of America. The spirit of Allah filled the temple for a long time, such rejoicing you never heard. After which, Garner Bay proceeded with his speech. He emphasized in his speech, and his speech was a masterpiece. He said, Brother W. Smith Bay, of Pittsburgh, PA, was present using for his subject the spirit of unity. How our hearts burn within, how our hearts burn within while we talk. Okay, so let me reread that, Morris. After which Governor Garner Bay proceeded with his speech, he emphasized recognition. His speech was a masterpiece. Brother W. Smith Bay of Pittsburgh, PA, was present, using for his speech the spirit of unity. Okay, that spirit of unity that you're hearing is what you hear with us in home office. A lot of people say the Moors are unorganized, but let me tell y'all, Moors, the Moors are not organized because home office, we sit with all the different leaderships. We sit with Brother R. Jones Bay 
who is the head for the More Science Temple America, Inc. We sit with leaderships, Brother Braswell Bay staff. Whether they respect us or how they call us or what they do, we still sit amongst each other, okay? And we love one another as long, and I don't have to do a lot of name calling. So there is a Supreme Grand Council. And there's things going on that you Moors don't know about. Why? Because you ain't coming to do no work. If you was coming to do some work, then you'll know about it. Do you want to give up $200 every month to make some things happen for our nation? That's what we're making a call for. Those who don't mind giving up $150, $200 to make things happen for the betterment of the More Science Temple of America, Divine and National Movement. Not that you're going to grease my pocket. Not that we're going to grease any other leader's pocket, but so that we can uplift this organization. There's no reason why we do not have a headquarters in Chicago, Illinois today for us, by us. Stop the BSing. It's too many brothers coming in here with their own agendas, and we have not been on the program of Noble Drew Ali. Go visit the Moors and the Moors Holy. Because there are some things that we have not done. Noble Drali wanted us to be in North Carolina. I mean, Mexico. Read the letter that he wrote to Hammond Hill. Islam, we are supposed to have over 50,000 Moors in Mexico, in the Phoenix area. But how are we going to do that if we ain't never went and built up Chicago, Moors? Wake up, you sleepy-headed Moors. And there's no excuses because buildings are given away in Chicago, Illinois. I hear all these moors talking about UCCs. I hear all these moors talking about how they did this and they did that. But what have you given to the Moore Science Temple of America? Spirit of unity, yo. We're still on the spirit of unity. What have you did to make the movement great besides all this? I heard everybody talking about we need hospitals, we need this, we need that. What are you going to give? What good gift do you bring? Quit asking me to give to do to do this and do that. Quit asking that brother over there to do this and do that. Quit asking that brother over there to do this and do that when you got some things you got to do too. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. It's all. And see, that's the problem. For many years, we've been doing your work too. And I can't do your work. I can only do the work that Allah told me to do for me. And you got to do the work that Allah told you to do for you. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Okay, and I'm going to say this and I'm not bragging. Over 15 years ago, I had a mindset. If we have seven sheiks working on our credit, what we can do. Praise Allah, I'm just now coming into the fold myself of owning my own, own home, owning my own land. I'm just coming into the fold where my credit is together. Okay? Now, by this time next year, Inshallah, we, I, me and my wife, will be able to help with a building in Chicago, Illinois. Shut up or put up. You with us? 877-808-2477, extension 101 for her, or extension 103 for myself. Do not call me on a Friday. Please do not call me on a Friday. 877-808-2477, extension 103. You write the contract up. And I'll sign the contract according to what you say. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. The spirit of unity. How our hearts are burned within while he talked. The song, shine on me, Allah. Oh, shine on me, was sung. And we were in the midst of a glorious meeting. Governor J. Lomax of Temple, who became an enemy to Noble Drawley of Detroit Temple, number four, was present and said, when the prophet speaks through us, we feel no fear. That's because, let me stop. It's not when Noble Drawley speak to you or speak through you or any man. It's when Allah who created everything never was, is, and evermore to be speaks through you. You have no fear. When Allah, Ya Allah, speaks, 
we are still and we obey. We hear and we go. So he had that wrong, Lomax Bay. Okay. He says, even though, because listen to what he shared with us. My father and I are one. And proceeded by saying, we cry for this message. Prayed, bear the cross for this message. But we had to wait on Noble Drew Ali, who was shaking every government. I got to stop because a lot of Moors use a lot of rhetoric. If Noble Drew Ali was shaking governments back then, what are we supposed to be doing then? Now, today. This is not no sovereign citizen talk. Noble Drew Ali came to set us straight. Inside of inside of the Moore Science Temple of America, divine and national movement. But I'm going to tell you, we have went back to sleep, Moors. We have been dumbed down because now you have a lot of leaders inside of the Moore Science Temple of America who, when you find out, they not even obey. They're not even the hell. They have not even put these people on notice. They have not corrected their status. They're not even a Moorish American. They're still listed as Negro. They're still listed as Black. They're still listed as everything that Noble Drew Ali came speaking against. Why can't you stand and how can you stand with such a person? Stop for a law. Stop for a law. They don't know, Moors. Get away from that. Ain't no salvation in me going to the temple on Fridays and just sitting in there and listening to some songs and listening to somebody speak and not activate and move and love truth peace freedom and justice go down to that county correct your status in that county okay go to the social security administration put them on notice correct things that's been done there oh more than we ain't doing that we playing games we're still property their property you not the property of noble draw lee Noble Drew Ali can't claim you moving like that. Let me say that like that. Noble Drew Ali can't do certain things because you are on the other side. My father and I are one. And he cried by saying, We're free at last. We're free at last. Now I want to ask the Moors. After you proclaim your nationality, this is what Lomax Bay said in the convention now. How are you free today? <sighs> when I was 13, I had my nationality card. I proclaimed my nationality at the age of 12. When I was 13, I had a brother say, man, you ain't no different than me. They still get you as a Negro. They still call you black. You still get mailed as Richard Neal. You still get mailed as Neal. You ain't no better than me, Aki. <laughs> so I had to start studying. And I started hearing Brother Freeman ill before he passed. Con Bay was young before he passed. I'm hearing all these brothers and them, brothers and sisters inside of the Moore Science Temple of America, inside the temples, telling me, stay away from them. They even told me, stay away from York Hill. And he was representing Temple Number 1 of Moore's Holy out of Chicago, Illinois. Stay away from them. But what I found out is a lot of Moors inside of the temples are asleep. And they stuck on a lot of dogmatic stuff. Noble Draw Lee ain't in that. Noble Draw Lee wants you to save yourself, brothers and sisters, so that you can be the head of your household, of your family. Man, we don't fear the government. We don't fear anything. But you got to know how to move. So that's why we go to the temples and we sit with those sheiks and those officers who know how to move. So you can be free at last. He says, the spirit of re resurrection is in the land, and we are raising out of the grave one by one. See, the resurrection that we teach in the Moore Science Temple of America is not a physical resurrection. He was on a mental degree. Islam, 
It's not a physical demonstration. It's a mental demonstration. It's not a physical demonstration. It's a mental demonstration. Praise Allah. He said, we're raising out of the grave one by one. A song performed by Sister Mice Bay and two girls from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The subject of the song, Who is Noble Draw Lee? The words were touching. Then Noble Draw Lee came forward and he said, this garment, back to the government, Morris, back to <laughs> international power. He says, Prophet Noble Draw Lee came forward and said, the garment I have on represents power. If you obey my voice, that's Allah speaking, you will have power with me. Allahu Akbar. I'm going to free you all. It's hard because of your mixture, which brings about many different spirits. Native Americans teach that too. About some of us. Not all of us, but some of us. Okay? And when you fail to hear my voice, you are lost. It is against the law to stand up in any audience intoxicated. The leader is not to stay out all night earning, giving earnings away to someone else. We stay out those strip clubs, stay out those low vibrations. You who are heads of the temples, it is easy for you to destroy the influence of the temple and me. And the more sons inside a prison, we used to say those more is giving the prophet a black eye. Don't give the prophet a black eye. Listen to what he says. You who are the heads of temples, it is easy for you to destroy the influence of the temple and me. And look at it. I'm listening to some of my aboriginals, and I've been dealing with aboriginals a long time. But I never heard of aboriginals who start banging on the temples. But I know why. Because how the temples are coming against the aboriginals. I've seen people in the, they want to call them whole tempers. And that's disrespectful because my family, my family, we always been red, black, and green. We always said hotel. We always say peace. You see? And now I'm seeing that now, where, where, where those who are in the conscious community are fighting and don't like the Moore Science Temple of America. Why? It's because people are giving Noble Draw Lee a black eye. They're teaching things that Noble Draw Lee did not teach. They're saying things that Noble Draw Lee did not say. And they're doing things that Noble Draw Lee did not approve of. It's a new era in time now. We are not against our brothers and sisters of red, black, and green. Stop for a law. We are not against any religious organization. Period. That's what Noble Dry Lee said. We are not against them. They got their work to do and we got our work to do for Allah. They working for Allah and we working for Allah. This ain't the only way. But it's the way for me. Praise Allah. And honors to Noble Dry Lee. So the prophet says, the garment I have on represents power. And if you obey my voice, this is Allah speaking. You will have power with me. That's a lot speaking. I'm going to free you, even free you, though it's hard because of your mixture, which brings about many different spirits. When you fail to hear my voice, you are lost. And that's how I was, brothers and sisters. I've been in a real, real, real dark stage inside and outside of the movement. And you guys have been able to see it on my, uh, on my physical self. As long... I've been in the real dark side. And I pray to Allah that I never, 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 ever go a day without seeking Allah's voice, face, something from Allah. And for me to do that, I have to give up a lot of things. See, I can't want around. I can't, I can't be that gangbanger. I can't be that dope man. I can't be that pimp. You can't play with a lie. Stop playing with a lie, brothers and sisters. Let me say it again. Once you start working for a lie and you're seeking a lie, you can't go back, brothers and sisters. Many of us are going back. You shouldn't go back. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. 
Because when you do, you go into a dark area. You go into a dark stage. You don't see any growth. You don't have any development going on. That's why we need to check ourselves. Refer back to chapter 3 of the Holy Quran and the More Science Temple of America. It's long. But it's easy for people to look at us. Like I stay in the town, Carbondale, Illinois. It's probably about six of us there that's Moorish American Muslim. When we have temples, only about three or four of us in the temple meet to six, six to seven. But if I do something at a party or an event or outside, or if I make a call and say I need the community aid and assistance, they are there. And if I do anything crazy, if I go pull my gun out on somebody, I can beat you up with my hands because I fight for my community. You see, I I don't like to say I fight for for my community, but I secure my community. As long as I work in my community. My community is secure. Temple is secure. Your community is a part of your temple. You must keep it sacred and holy. We don't run around and all that, but we keep peace in our community. It's your job as a grand sheik, as an officer, as a vanguard, as a missionary. Come out of the darkness, Moors. We've been in the dark for a very long time. And let me say this. They say brothers want to talk about Arneel Bay. Man, y'all been talking about Arneel Bay for 15 years. 15 years. You don't say it, everything that you can say about Arneel Bay. But I got one thing to say. Praises be to Allah. The whole time I've been home, out here in these streets, no one associated with Arneel Bay, affiliated with Arneel Bay, and if they're in the temple, they don't go to prison. We're not doing criminal activity. They're not going to prison. They're not going to jail. But people want to say, hey, stay away from that brother. That brother the law. What makes me the law? Or you just say that to keep people from away from me. That's what you do? Well, if that's all you got, praise a lot for that. Because see, these 15 years I've been out here, brothers, who've been GD, Stones, Vice Lords, Crips, Bloods, all that. We ain't giving the prophet a black eye. They right here with me. And they listening to the words of Noble Drew Ali that I share with them. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I'm going to say it again. Y'all been talking about me for 15 years. And there's brothers with me from California. There's brothers with me from New York. There's brothers with me from Baltimore. There's brothers and sisters with me. Families with me, man. So try something new. Pull our way across. Try something new. Try a whole nother conversation, man. But you know the best thing to do? It's just going to keep it real. Oh, our Neil Bay, man, that brother, he, he trying. He trying. That's all I'm doing, brothers and sisters. I'm reaching. I'm trying to please Allah. I'm trying to make a better me. I ain't here to take you off your, your throne or your whatever. I'm here doing me. Raised by the brothers of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. They taught me this. They taught me how to be a friend, how to be a brother. They taught me manhood. So don't get upset. No, I'm not affiliated with a Christian organization called Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. But I come from that. That's what raised me. Before I knew anything about Robert's Rule, the brothers from SIUC chapter Kilo T, raised me. Took me away from the gang life. Because I was not understanding the Moore Science Temple of America down here in Carbondale, Illinois, when everybody was going to prison. All the Moors I knew was in prison. 
So I didn't have a teacher here. The only teacher I had was Brother Imam Abdul Haq. And he said, I can't teach you the more signs. I can only teach you Islam. So that's why you got what you get today. But I'm always love purple and gold. They taught me about Jesus. Brothers in Omega Sci-Fi love Jesus. Us in the Moore Science Temple of America, we love Jesus. Check this out. Even in Omega Sci-Fi, they had a, a, a demonstration about Zeus and Jesus. And it was powerful. I'm going to just say that because I might be giving up some secrets. But that, let's work, brothers and sisters, in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. The Prophet Convention is still going on. Us here, we're following and honoring what Brother Braswell Bay and his staff are doing and the Moors uh, who met in September. Okay? But the garment that he has on represents his power. Islam, his power is still here today. Allah is running the Moor Science Temple of America. He is the only one who is guiding this. Okay? But we got to learn how to go to the county. Quit going down there and doing... See, I learned this from Brother Allah, via man, Allah be pleased. When I worked with his home office, I still got my letters. When people say, oh, he wasn't associated... I was directly with Brother R. Loveville, directly with Sister A. Washington Hill. I worked with their home office. Mount Clemens, Michigan, 48 Inches Street, Mount Clemens, Michigan. Okay? I still got my letters in there. Sister M. Sweet and Hill, who was the GG, who was out of Washington, D.C. Man, a lot be pleased with her. I don't know if she passed for him, but I know she went missing. And we were out in Sacramento, and our job under our love veil at that time was to raise up the temple. She, I was in Sacramento, excuse me. She was in Los Angeles, California, on West 79th Street. West 97th or 79th Street was her address. I just had to go visit her, okay? The sister was working as a grand governess. And I went out there, and I started doing all the work with her to raise up the Moore Science Temple of America in the state of California back in 1996-97 for the Moore Science Temple of America, Inc. The power of Allah is still going, Moore is Islam. It does not stop. And I'm sharing all that to let you know that we're not here to tear down the true foundation. We're here to build the love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Stop going to the county and asking those people for a name change. We are Moorish Americans. And as Moorish Americans, we're under Allah and Noble Drew Ali instructions. We do a name correction, not a name change. Do you know what you're supposed to do when you go down to the county? I mean, after you leave from the county and you get your favorable reply from there, now you got to go to the Social Security Administration. Do you know what you're supposed to do and what documents you need to take down there? And if you don't know, you need to come sit with us and get it. You don't have to stay with us, but you need to sit and learn. I'm not going to give it all to you on a video. That's unfair. <laughs> There's a lot of other things we're sharing with us, for us, by us. But the power is still going, still moving of Allah. Islam said the prophet's talk was sincere. Hold on. Oh, he said, now lace up your shoes and get right. That's what the prophet said. And this talk was very sincere. Then they had collection and then for the parade and realized they had 6830. That's I just read to you. It's very small. That's what I was reading to you. That's the minutes of the first convention. Okay. And I'm going to share one more thing because I'm still on government and nation building. Because a lot of people say, 
I heard a lot of people who are sheiks inside of Moor Science Temple America say, we're not a nation. We're just an organization. We're not this, we're not that. And this is what those who was with during the time of Noble Gerard Lee, this is what they said in his face. And it was backed up and put in his minutes. Okay? There was a time once when the Moors saved civilization. I'm glad to know that we have relit the lamp. Y'all hear that? There was a time once when, and it don't say the speaker's name. It says the speaker said there was a time once when the Moors saved civilization. I'm glad to know we have relit the lamp. So our job is there to uplift the whole world, Moors, starting with ourselves. That's why we have these divine instructions from Noble Drew Ali. We got to lift up the whole world. He says, do not let nobody turn you around. Once you know that this is your mission, brothers and sisters, that Allah has put you on, don't let nobody turn you around. Like they dogged me out. I've been kicked out of places. I've been thrown out of pet places. I've been called names. You keep going in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah's going to bless you. You don't get upset with them. You don't call in no street team. You keep moving in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice and watch what Allah's going to do. It's a science in it, boys. I ain't lying to you. So he says... Listen to this. Don't let anyone turn you around, Morris. We will never be a nation. Listen, because this is what my wife is stuck on. We will never have a na we will never be a nation until we have all the rights of civilization as someone sitting in Congress. I see these people have seen the light and walked in the light. Brother Payne Bay, oh, that was the speaker, Payne Bay, who was the attorney. Attorney of Chicago was present. He said, I don't know a moment of my life that I have been more happier than now. His speech was of the highest type. Honorable Anderson was introduced and he said, the growth of this movement has been marvelous. He said, many good things for, pardon me, Morris. We tried to do this so I can always read it and share it and keep it small print. For the Moors, Oscar the Priest was present. He says, I feel encouraged knowing, these are all polit polit politicians and political figures. I feel encouraged knowing that with prayers I will succeed. So they was telling him, we behind you 100% in the convention. Okay? Whew. Now let me get to the part and I'm out of here. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali said this. You stop figuring out how your salvation shall come. Just follow me. Let me read that again. You stop figuring out how your salvation shall come. Just follow me. You can say one thing, Moors. You have made a start for the kingdom. Noble Draw Lee is talking about kingdom building in the 1920s. I thought this was something new that the spiritual groups use, the Christian groups use. Noble Draw Lee is kingdom building. This ain't no denominational thing. Kingdom building. Wake up, you sleepy headed Moors. He says. If you want success, you must follow the prophet. And that's what we're doing in home office, Morris. Everything we do, we use the words of Noble Drew Ali for success. Haya Allah as-salat. Haya Allah as-salat. Come to success, come to success, come to prayer, come to prayer. It's a part of our deen. Follow the prophet. Listen to it. Husbands, take care of your wives and families. A lot of y'all are not taking care of y'all family's problems. Your sons, your daughters. Smile. Huh? Wives, keep your homes clean. Not just on Fridays. Not when they say the grand sheik and the grand governors them coming over. Every day you should clean your body. You should clean your home.
His talk was wonderful. Governor Millier, Temple Number no. 1, Chicago, Illinois, said, There is just one way for the Asiatics, one religion, Islamism, one Allah, and one destiny. With that, we say love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Peace.